several videos back, I shared cooking supper one evening with you. Well, I made a blackberry cobbler, and I kind of showed a little bit about it, but I had several people ask for the recipe that they wanted me to share the recipe. So today, I have company coming tonight, so I thought that would be a good time for me to show you, and my blackberries are just about gone out of the yard. I had some in the refrigerator, and then I just went out and picked a few more to add to them. So the first time I made blackberry dumplings was years ago. It's been a long time ago. And I used a recipe that come from my More Than Moonshine by Sydney Sailor Farr cookbook. And they turned out great. In fact, I wrote about them on the Blind Pig and the Acorn. That's my blog if you've never visited it, Blind Pig and the Acorn. So, you know, I don't remember if it was last year or maybe the year before, one of my longtime readers said, Tipper, I made those blackberry dumplings. You know, she'd kind of how blogs are, even though it was a post from a long time ago, sometimes they show up on the, um, the little graphic below the current blog post. And she said, Tipper, I tried those blackberry dumplings and I don't know what went wrong, but it just, all, everything just cooked up and it just ended up in a big mess, like a one big solid thing and it just wasn't very good. And I said, well, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what happened. And it's been a while since I made them, you know, but I'm so sorry. And, you know, I asked, did you add enough milk, blah, 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 whatever the recipe was. She said, yeah, I did it just like you said. And I said, I'm so sorry. Well, the next time I got some blackberries, I decided I should try that recipe again and see if I could tell what had happened. So I did. You know what happened? The same thing she described to me. It was like it all cooked up into one big giant solid mess. It was horrible. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good. So I thought back to all those years ago, and I had pictures, so I even, you know, look back at my pictures. All I can think is that maybe back then that I added more milk just by accident, like I made it a thinner dumpling maybe. I don't know what I did. But anyway, that once I made the dumplings and they turned out just like the reader had said, I decided that I better try to make them again. And I thought, so I looked up different recipes and, and then I looked back at Sydney Sailor Fars and thought, you know, maybe she accidentally put something wrong. What could it be? And then I finally decided, you're making this way too complicated. Just stew your berries and put some dumplings in it. And that's it. So that's what I started doing. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So I usually use about, I, I would guess about a quart of blackberries today. I may have a little bit more than that. And I put the blackberries in a big sauce pot, wash them, do whatever you, you know, first you need to do to them. And then I add some sugar to them. Now, how much sugar you add is really just personal preference. If your berries are really sweet or you kind of like that tartness of the blackberry, you probably wouldn't need to add that much. I typically add about a cup and a half of sugar. So I add the sugar and then I cover the whole, the sugar and the blackberries with water. And then I let that cook for a good, probably 10, 20 minutes, something like that, about 20 minutes to kind of, kind of really get the berries soft and kind of let the sugar, you know, get all through them. And I keep an eye on them. So while they're cooking, if that water starts to decrease, I add more water. I add more water to it. Then when the berries are done to my liking, I take a cup of self-rising flour. You could use plain flour, but you'd need to add a little bit of leaven into it. So I just use self-rising flour, about a cup, about a tablespoon of sugar, and about a half a cup to three-fourths cup of just milk and mix that up together. And that makes my dumplings. And then I just drop them into that boiling liquid around the blackberries, making sure, again, that there's enough liquid that it's what doesn't happen is the same thing that happened with the Sydney Sailor Far recipe is kind of that it all sucks up and that there's not enough juice. It might be, now that I'm talking out loud and thinking about it, it might be way back when I first made her recipe and really loved it. Maybe my berries were really, really juicy then and I had more juice. That might have been it. But I would just make sure that you add enough um, enough liquid so that your bear, your dumplings, when you put them in, they don't just seize up the entire pot of blackberries. Now I'm going to take you over to the stove and show you how I put it all together. Okay, I've got a quart I measured just to see for sure if I was right. I've got a quart of blackberries. These are ones from our yard that I had in the refrigerator just kind of hanging on to to either make jelly or juice or whatever I was going to do. And then this is what I picked this morning, and it's a little less than a quart. And I'm going to add those. Again, I usually just do a quart, but since I'm, I just want to use up the blackberries and we're having company, I'm going to make a little bit extra. 
So I wanted to share a little tip with you. This is like where I washed the blackberries and you can see all that stuff that was left. Uh, there's some of that you could use, but some of it's got some little dirt and some bugs and stuff in it. But it's there's an ant crawling right there. But it's also got, of course, blackberry seeds in it. There's two seeds. So now this doesn't always happen, but if I'm making like this, you know, I have these left over, I'm gonna throw this outside. And also, like, if I made jelly, and I like to make jelly instead of jam with blackberries because I don't like those little seeds. So then I have all that pulp left. So with that pulp or with this, what I do with it is I take it outside and I throw it on the bank. Simple enough. Just to get it out of the way. It's organic. It goes back to, you know, whatever. Some bugs or a possum at night or something might come along and eat it. But what I've had happen over the years is, is that some of those little seeds actually become blackberry briars. And that's one way that I've increased the blackberry briars around my house. I have a pretty good set right out my door, my kitchen door, and I know that they come from all the years of me throwing out the blackberry seeds when I was either doing something like this where I was using the whole blackberry or when I made jelly and was actually just throwing out all the pulp. Okay, now I've got, like I said, a cup and a half sugar. That can be, you can, you can decide if that's too much sugar for you or if you need even more sugar. And then I've got some water I'm going to cover them with. So now that I've got the sugar in the water, I'm just going to give it a quick stir and I've turned it on to cook. I'm going to cook them about 20 minutes and that's kind of simmering pretty good. You could do it faster than that. You just need to pay attention to them or you could do it lower than that if you had other things to do and kind of let them just simmer along. As the berries begin to soften and break down and, the, and then mix with the sugar, it'll begin to thicken slightly won't get real thick, but it will begin to thicken. And what you need to pay attention to is the level of the liquid. So thinking about the dumplings again, that you don't want it to seize them up. So you may need to add a little bit more water as it cooks. I think I'm gonna have peas, fresh peas for supper. So I'm gonna get Corey to help me shell them out while the blackberries are cooking. So my blackberries have been cooking a little bit longer than 20 minutes. I got involved in another task and so I couldn't get back to them as quick as I thought. So more like probably about 30 minutes. I have added some additional water in between the cooking time. So you can see it's still pretty, pretty liquidy. I'm debating about whether to add a little bit more. I think I might add a tiny bit more. So I'm adding probably about a half a cup more. Now, while it comes back up to boil, so already has really, I've got in this little bowl, I've got my cup of self-rising flour and I've got about a tablespoon of sugar and then I'm going to add about a half a cup of milk. I'll just stir that up. Gonna get another spoon and then I'm just gonna drop them in that boiling liquid. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down slightly and then I'm just gonna start dropping my dropping them in. And I'm going to put a lid on it and I'm going to let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. First I'm going to try to get some of the mess I made off. So you want to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down even further and let it kind of bake those wonderful dumplings in there. I'm going to put a lid on it and then I'm going to check it in about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, they've been cooking for about 20 minutes, I guess. Let's 
see they're done. I'm going to go ahead and turn them on really low because, of course, it's not supper time yet. But you can see how mm, looks good. How the dumplings are kind of on the top, and then that wonderful juice is on the bottom. What we love to do with that juice and with the dumplings is put it over ice cream. So I'm going to get me a get me a little dumpling there. I really don't want to get a lot since. I will spoil my supper. Put me one little scoop of ice cream there since I'm trying to not spoil my supper. Looks really good. Get me a little bit of dumpling, a little bit of the juice, and a little bit of ice cream all in one bite. That's the perfect bite. So good. Such a comforting dessert. I think fruit desserts, whether it's blackberry dumplings, peach cobbler, apple pie, they're all so comforting somehow. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how I make blackberry dumplings. If you try them, I hope that you enjoy them as much as my family does. And as always, I hope you'll drop back by often to help me celebrate Appalachia, which is a whole lot of wonderful food ways like blackberry dumplings.